So I'm going to be showing you guys Razer Synapse 2 ma Macro Wing. So first, once you set up, install uh, this program, link will be in the description, obviously. You What I did was create a second profile. This allows me to have every, uh, any or every button I want uh, individually macroed or set up to do what it wants, what I want it to do, different from the basic which is normal which is does the default which is left click right click scrolling extra buttons I do this just so if I have any macros that do typing or clicking and doing things of that nature that it doesn't do that inside of a text editing program I don't actually start spamming letters into an essay or into a comment and then all of a sudden I have nonsense everywhere it's a smart idea to do you can also link it to an application. I don't do that just because I come in here and do it manually myself. So I can adjust everything in case I'm running uh, different characters. You can see it. I only have 190 and an 80 at the moment. I haven't played any of these since uh, forever. I think the only one I played was my Panda when it first came out. Played it for the first 20 levels and then got bored. Went back to my palette and decided to max him out. But now I'm showing you macroing that I just figured this out and uh, and using it effectively. I tank and heal, so this is only really helpful for tankers or DPS healing. You could figure out a way to do this and this, but with non World of Warcraft macroing, it might be difficult for you healers because what it does is just uh, repeated input I uh, so here this is for my tank actually this is not for my tank this is a thing I did for the video where I and I misspelled it anyways so tanks attack so it, what it does um, it, it takes the uh, presses and releases of each button I clicked while I was in record mode you can see when it goes down it, it has a delay comes back up what I did was no delay so that it's as quick as possible and there you go that that's all you need to do another thing you need to do okay I like that's not all you need to do sorry what you need to do next after you have this here is you go back to your mouse you select it select like the button you want to have it on four and five which are the buttons right here on the Naga so you can select it you want to assign it, it should be a mouse function at default. You come in a macro. You go into the macro you want. Go survival. You have a play once, play multiple times. So you can say, I want this to run twice. Or press while key is assigned, uh, while assigned key is pressed. So as long as I hold down the key, it'll keep doing it. Or toggle which is an on and off switch. I click it once, it continuously repeats the macro from top to bottom every single time um, until I press the uh, managing key again, the signed key. So what I'm gonna do is, while it is pressed, I do that, come into my tanks. I have this one on continuous, just there. I'm going to switch it to while press so I can show you this. Now we're set to go. This is controls the mouse. This is I can do this and have it type set things and whatever I want automatically, repeatedly. Very interesting thing you can do with other things besides gaming, but mostly helpful for gamers. You come into this enter world. I'm gonna load in storm wind at the moment. This is gonna be interesting. So I'm here right in front of this dummy. I'm gonna go recount, reset. Move this damage done here. Hold, holding one button, it continuously does this. There we go. 
That's what I'm doing. And see here, right above, I should probably move this over here. You can see that the damage goes up. I'm only holding the same key. If you look down here to where my uh, major keys are, one through seven, keep getting that circle pressed. That's again pressed and recognizing that it's been pressed. Also this F. So I let go. It stops. Now these are keyed to the buttons on the side of the mouse, so I can still individually do Crusader Strike or Judgment. Christmas or so. And let's say I have all these macros. I have all these uh, holy power here, so I can go ahead and do that. Doesn't affect anything else unless you're holding down the key or if you have it set to toggle on and off related how you do that now I'm going to run my defense which is continuously running there I do that so in case I have more than three let's see if I can make some holy power oops accidentally did shield but when you have more, you hold the defense, I hold the defense one, and it'll do Word of Glory twice for however holy power I have, which is max at five, so I'll do it twice. That's helpful. it also do Holy Prism and Sacred Shield at the same time. I don't have it set to do my more casting heals, because that also interrupts things. The thing I am going to do is have it add self cleanse to it so I'm gonna show you guys that now that's adding C so that's S E R C are the keys I want to capture so I'm gonna go ahead and walk away from this dude so it stops for a second doesn't it this doesn't matter I just walked away so coming to macros tax is the, the first one I showed you doing attacks I'm gonna go back into survival Make sure no delay is recorded. That's just so it does it as quickly as possible, giving that ultimate edge against uh, other players or against your bosses or whatever you're doing. So, move this over so I can verify the keys. It's S E R C. S E R C. Stop. And that's the macro. Now. I hold heal and it'll cleanse me, do holy prism, word of glory, and sacred shield giving me my protection from damage there. And that's how you do macros in Side Razor Synapse 2.0.